now around 4 a.m right so yeah i've been sleeping the entire time so i don't even know where we are but i'm sure we're almost there i'm just judging using time but right? yeah we're just here for a short recess uh people are just finding some things to eat and some are dropping off and then some uh, they need the washroom and stuff like that but yeah the journey is not that bad but i've been sleeping the entire time Oh, I can see right there. It's written Congola. Yeah, so that's where we are now. and I've been dropped off at the Shell station. This is the only bus also just arriving. It was just behind us. I was in that bus over there, the, um, the Poka bus. So we arrived here first. So from here, I need to make my way to the border because I need to cross to Zambia. I need to go to Zambia. So I need to find my way to the border. The bus just dropped you here in, the, in, in town. So to go to the border is not very far from here. I need to find my way there. So I'll put myself out. I've seen that there are some guys here who have like cars to take us there. They have like taxis and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm just waiting for a little bit because right now it's, uh, let me check what the time. Yeah, it's like 6, 6 a.m. I just want to wait at least until around 7. Then when I cross, I just go there. The border is open, then I get safe. But yeah. So far, the few that I have here in Katima is that the town, it's it's really quiet when it's too early in the morning. People here, they don't really, they're not early birds, right? But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, in Windu, we'll find people drinking already. And <laughs> <laughs> well, they've already started yeah, supporting business. Yeah. <laughs> ah, but here it is uh, unlike in Zambia. I'm hearing that in Zambia, some other places like Lusaka, it is 24 hours business. 24 hours? Yeah. It must be like that. <laughs> <laughs> but when some goes to sleep, some they are busy with the business. Yeah. So, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> they want to take all the money. <laughs> so when sunrise again, they give business to others. Mm. Ah, but Katima is too slow. Oh. <laughs> it's like a village. But at least this side is it's better than the Zambian side in terms of development. You can see here there are nice buildings and shops. Okay. The Zambian side there. Are... Uh.
Namibia hey, tolerance for <laughs> I think they meant to say Namibia has zero tolerance for corruption. Report corruption to the anti corruption commission. Be part of the fight. Yeah, that's a strong message there. Corruption is not good. So right now I'm at the Katima Mulilo uh, border post. So at this point I can safely say goodbye Namibia and welcome to Zambia. I'll miss Namibia man, but yeah. It is what it is. So goodbye Namibia until next time. So I'm now at the Zambian side, but I'm still outside. I haven't ended yet. I just walked from uh, the Namibian side up until here. So I'm still at the no man's land, just in between Namibia and Zambia. I've seen there are a lot of trucks here. Most of them, they are facing that direction, which means they are going to Namibia. Only a few trucks that are uh, going to Zambia. As you can see, I can see that one truck and I think two trucks here that are facing this direction going to Zambia. But most of the trucks, they are going to, to Namibia. Is, <coughs> from my own observation. And a lot of trucks, they are carrying copper. And this copper, I believe it is coming from Zambia and going to the coast uh, in Namibia so that it will be shipped off the continent so that it go to those countries that are able to process those these raw materials and sell them back to us when they ate value. Yeah? We are talking about value addition. Just look at these trucks, man. This one just going in, it's coming from Zambia, it's carrying copper. The other one, it's also carrying copper. And I've seen a truck in front of these two also, it's just carrying copper. And as I was coming from that direction, because that's where the Namibian side is, I saw many trucks that are also carrying copper. <music> Right now, I am in Sesheke. So, um, the initial plan was that uh, when I get here, I'll find somewhere to sleep, like a lodge or a guest house. But things have changed. I found out that I can be able to get a bus that is going to the side right now. It's around 11 a.m. And so I'm waiting for that bus. So, and then I'll just get that into that bus. And I'll arrive in Osaka tomorrow around 10 a.m. But if I wait, if I sleep perhaps, then tomorrow I'll get uh, a bus around 5 a.m. in the morning. And then I'll arrive in Lusaka uh, in the evening. I think it will be around like 5 or 7 p.m. So I decided to take this one that will leave now and I'll arrive in Lusaka around 10. That way I'll be able to see Lusaka. And also I'll be assured that I'll be safe. Right. 
Hey, so I'm still here in Sesheke. I'm still waiting for the bus to come. It was supposed to be here already, but I've been told that the bus is coming from Livingstone to Sesheke, and then from here it should take us to Lusaka. But then the bus is delayed. The reason being the road from Livingstone to Sesheke is not good, which is that bad. That is the reason why the bus delayed and it is the raised season. So right now I'm just looking for data. And when I get the data, I can go online and at least communicate with people. I'm not going on. Yeah. So that's the update right now. I'm still in Sesheki. So the bus is here. And now they are telling me that it is full. Ah, they can't leave me. I have to go with them to Lusaka because I want to be in Lusaka the following day in the morning. I can't wait and sleep here in the West. I'm back again here. Yeah, I've been offline because I didn't have any way to charge my phone. This bus didn't have any port for me to connect my charger so that I could charge my phone. But this is the bus that I came with from Sesheke. Right now I'm in a place called Mongu. Yeah? But this bus is not going to Lusaka. So they dropped me here in Mongu. So from here I'm going to get that bus over there. That bus. That bus is going to take me to Lusaka. It's going to leave at 4 a.m. in the morning. And uh, we'll arrive in Lusaka, I think, around 10 a.m. Yeah, somewhere around that time. Yeah, but right now, I'm just here, chilling, uh, waiting for that bus to leave around 4. I'm at this office, the Oasis office here in Mongo. That's where they have like the uh, office. I put my luggage in their office there and I feel it is safe. So from here, um, I'll just wait, maybe find uh, a place where I can eat at least. Yeah. And then from here, we can go to Lusaka in the morning around 4 a.m. That's the bus that I'll be going with. But alternatively, I can go and sleep in the bus and put my luggage in there. But I feel like if I put my luggage in the bus, it's not going to be safe unless I'm also in the bus. Because right now I want to go to have something to eat. And then after that, then I can go into the bus. So I, I've just put my luggage in the office. Let me show you how it looks like inside. So there are also people here. I think they're also maybe going to the circus, right? So yeah, I'm just sitting here with them. So almost everyone is keeping their luggage inside here. And some are sleeping. But yeah, we are continuing the journey. We see until we get to the